Hi, this is Dan Altman with Marie Max and Stewart. Just uh, want to go through a brand new Boston Whaler 35 Realm. We uh, just got it in from the factory. Want to take you through the boat. We're sitting here on Skyhook right now. So this boat has a triple 300 Mercury's. These are the new V8 power plant. Uh, and it does have, here going into Skyhook mode, it's holding the position of the boat itself because uh, we're sitting here on Skyhook. The vessel's got uh, automatic flush system as well, so when you get home, put it in your lift, put it in a high and dry, hook it up to fresh water from the dock, and then hit a button and flush your engine out. On the back here we have a access for diving. There's a, a ladder that comes out of the back. There's also one on the side. I'll show you that in a minute through a dive door. Easy walk through from a transom gate. Shut it down so you got to room for the family to be safe. There's a freshwater shower here as well. So in the floor, we'll come up from the cockpit. We have two fish boxes on each side, port and starboard. This is the starboard side one. It's fully insulated because of the design of the Boston Whaler. We've got some covers in there that belong to the entire boat. This vessel has the upgraded speaker system. We'll see more speakers as we go throughout. We have shore power on this side. We also have a electric reel outlet for your downriggers and your electric reels. Cup holders, Hawson pipe to get to the cleat and rod holders across the transom and on each port and starboard side. We have an entertainment center here. I call it the entertainment center, but it's a barbecue grill. We're socializing, grilling out. You have some storage space here. We have our shore power cord stored in there. This seat's kind of unique as we've got an aft facing seat. So you have picnic style seating. There's a table that goes on the floor here. So people can sit on the back and dine and enjoy it. Also beneath the seat is an insulated cooler. It's an option to have it refrigerated. So check your exact boat you're looking at to see if it's refrigerated. That's how you load it and then access is through here while you're out of, during the day. Another freshwater shower because our dive door is on the port side here. So we have access for that. And then we have a dive ladder which is stored underneath the back seat. So we'll flip this back seat up and then there's your dive ladder. And this creates a lot of fishing space diving space, family space. And you got bolsters 360 on this boat. Raw water wash down, sold you the fresh water. Uh, just a nicely equipped cockpit. Above us is a, a electric sure shade, sun shade. So that's deployed right now to keep us out of the sun. We'll head forward on this boat. And as you cruise, you have a, this seat just flip flops back and forth, which is pretty nice. So we set four in row style seating underneath the hardtop. And of course you got the back seat which holds you know, two to four people depending on uh, your family's comforts. There is air conditioning blowing on this area. So it blows from this seat base up to the passengers. There's a table that goes in here as well because this seat will actually spin around and we have family style seating. So underneath cover, hard top, put the table in and enjoy the deck. And that is locked in by several lever here. What I had to do is just lower the armrest and raise the, uh, the steering wheel. So, uh, going through our helm here, we have the new Mercury throttle and shift mechanism. It is included to have start and stop switch on it. Our engine 
trim is built into it. It's built in automatically as well as active trim. And then we have a one lever positioning. And then if we ever added a second station, you could transfer to stations. Refrigerators in the corner. This is a nice feature on this particular unit. There's a wet bar sink. And there's three drawers of storage underneath this wet bar sink on my side. And this is designed to, to double as a cutting board. Um, talked about upgraded speaker system. Here's our sub. We've got two speakers on this side, another speaker on the port side, actually two more speakers on the port side. And then behind this panel is our key switches for all three engines, your 12 volt or battery system distribution panel, and your battery switches. Back to the helm, we have tilt steering. Double screens, these are the Ray Marines. We have digital switching through the Ray Marines. These work kind of like an iPad, so you just pick an app that you like and go through it. Um, I'll go back into like chart and fish, that seems to be a popular one people use. So you can see your fish finder and your chart plotter. This side I already have up, it's linked into the boat. So it's linked to gauges, our lights, exterior and interior. I can turn on all the lights from right here. The control system, so this is air conditioning for cockpit and cabin AC. Your system, so it shows you fuel, fresh water, your wastewater tank, bilge pump status, and your battery status. And then of course we have an alarm system. So very intuitive, easy to use, and you have just master switches up top, which some of them are linked into here. Stereo system, this is the new Apollo by Fusion. It does have a CarPlay system that attaches to your phone. Spotlight, our joystick right now where we are in Skyhook mode, we've been sitting on Skyhook this whole time. Um, built into the joystick is an autopilot and also you have bow hook and drift hook in addition to sky hook. So that allows you to drift up and down for fishing and hold your position with letting the boat turn, depending on what you want. Trim tabs with indicators, and that completes a nice little helm. Um, at the helm also for the captain, we have an elevated step. So this really allows us to look down into the water, and just have better visibility for docking and whatnot. We'll come back to the cabin in just a minute, but we'll head forward. Um, before we head forward, let's look up top here. So we do have a Mercury vessel view. So this is a Simrad based system. It does have a chart plotter built into it. So most people just use it for the Mercury, but if you add a chip, you can have a backup complete system for navigation. So that's nice. And you go back to the Mercury and it shows you what's going on with the engines. And just different functions, different screens to see things. There's alarm system for the Mercury's as well. VHF with a handset. The handset is here. And then back up top here we also have a sea keeper. So this is gyro stabilized. It'll pretty much eliminate the left and right roll while you're fishing. Uh, while you're slow cruising and sitting at the dock, and it also eliminates a lot of the roll when you're cruising. Let's head forward. We have a nice, easy walk around on the port side here. So the lounge space up here is tremendous. We have cubbies on each side of the gunnels that allow you to store things, whether it be your phone or shoes or whatnot. Um, the Ford lounger has armrests that come down for three people to have armrests with cup holders built in. The table is here. You unsnap this, and there is a beautiful table underneath with inlays. This table will go up and down, and you see the cushion on it makes just a huge bed. Or you have it up, take this off, and you have some seating for dining. There's a stereo, stereo control up here. 
our speakers, cup holders, all stainless steel, and they do drain to the floor. And our anchor window system. So this has a remote on it. Lower your anchor. This has a polished stainless steel anchor upgrade. And what's nice is uh, easy remote uh, for raise and lowering for your crew, or you can throw this off the side if you beach the boat, and you can adjust the anchor from standing down on the beach. There's a freshwater spigot in here, so if you want to rinse off the area or rinse off your anchor. Pop-up cleats, rod holders, and this is preset to accept a sunshade system of your choice. There's a cover system up here as well, so all the seats get covered, keep them nice and protected. So we'll head down to the cabin and check that out. So as I mentioned, we have air conditioning in the cabin. We also have air conditioning up here at the cockpit. They're two separate AC systems. So in our cabin, you can see we have a U-shaped seat. There is a filler that goes in here, so it makes a nice bed. There's air conditioning. We have a TV for those long extended stays. And there's some storage on this starboard side, which you can't really see, but there's a cabinet over here. All our owner's manuals. This is our cover bag for this boat. Behind this cabinet is our AC. So generator shore power breakers are here. And how you start your, your uh, generator is also here. And then we'll show you better pictures, but there is a head in here. Um, sorry, boat move. Uh, shower and head system, uh, vacuum flush toilet, and fresh water throughout. So I'll come back out. And that concludes our tour of this new Boston Winter 350 round. Thank you for your time.